playing a multiplayer game that comes with a storyline as one perfect game is always interesting to play. Most of the player keep looking for what is the best MMORPGs on mobile, that what we should play now or even some of them have been prepared for the upcoming one. So our team always tries to represent the new one to make an update of the new MMORPGs on Android and iOS. Remember to support this channel by tapping the like button to reach 1000 likes. Please enjoy the video of Top 10 High Graphic MMORPG Android, Best MMORPG to Play and to Anticipate It Metasin Metasin, this is the best new MMORPG game Android that has an English version already. Even the game is in development right now, but it should be released directly into global version very soon. If you are looking for a western character design with a futuristic and sci-fi design model, then this game would be your option. At the start of the game, we'll have an option to pick male or female hero. Then there's a chance of selecting a different weapon and job classes of swordman, gunner, or berserker with a mechanic glove as the weapon. Each of the weapons will come with a different skills. Every single skill will unlock after we reach a certain level. Some action is available to do for exploring the open world like we can do a double jump and fly from a higher altitude level just like a glider and also get into the water by swimming. Getting some material around is possible to craft some items. The combat mechanism of Meta Scene is it's a hack and slash game. Every skill we have will need some stamina that will recharge over time ideally. It has a fast combat with a nice visual skill even the basic attack will have its own flashy variation visual. This is the best new MMORPG games for Android and iOS with a small size about 2GB only and supported with an auto features. Dragon Hunter Dragon Hunter, from my perspective, this new MMORPG is 100% ready to release globally. Everything has prepared perfectly and is really playable for a mid-range spawn with a higher graphic level. As the game names, the main game storyline is about hunting a huge legendary dragon. We can even participate in a team raid to kill the dragon and grab a huge reward with a high quality grade. So we will compete to reach the top score and become the higher damage dealer to obtain the high grade equipment. It's of auto MMORPG games. Since the prologue, the auto features will be available to do from unleashing the skill, basic attack to auto pet finding. In combat, we can deploy three pets with SSR hero will be obtained freely as a gift of a newbie player. So, in combat, we will fight together with our pet, so the main character and also the pet system will become crucial to developing your main combat power. While exploring the huge world, we can ride a mount to move faster. Dragon Hunter is the best MMORPG GB style for Android and iOS. Odin Valhalla Rising Odin Valhalla Rising This MMORPG game has been released in a specific regions only, like in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. But still, we are waiting for the global one. I wonder if the developer will need more updates from those server to know which part they can improve before releasing it into global. Much better you watch this video first before downloading the game because it has a huge size in total, probably one of the biggest game size which is about 34GB. I'm sure you are wondering how it can reach so many numbers in size. Yeah, it's because the graphics have a console level, even close to PC visual and how it detail the environment. Especially when we see far view distance, it's pretty amazing and detailed. Odin Valhalla Rising is a cross-platform MMORPG game that is playable on mobile and PC. In-game, I love how the skill is not so flashy, making the skill showcase look so realistic at all. Unfortunately, I feel like playing a classic MMO because our main hero cannot move while attacking. There are some resources we can gather in the open world to craft some equipment and items. 100% Odin Valhalla Rising is the best upcoming MMO RPG new MMO we must play. T Tiny T Tiny Online Smart Tower Life. Don't you think it's a new game? But actually, the developer have been taking time for more than two years already on developing this game since the first beta testing. It's quite weird how long they need times to release it into global. 
Even the game's graphic and visual seems quite similar at all. Now, the developers should understand how long the hype of the player can be waiting for a single game before it gets laid. But out of that issues, I would love to play this game. It has a cute character design with a 3D models. As a player, we will start with nothing. Absolutely nothing. No armor, no weapon. Only a wooden stick to hit the enemy, it's a great idea, while the other MMO always showing the highest rank weapon on the start of the journey. I love how difficult it is to get a good quality weapon, but anyway, will not find any job or classes. Because every main hero can hold many kinds of weapons at the same time and put them in the back, we are free to switch the weapon of sword, bow, and javelin anytime. The skill option will be adjusted automatically. T-Tiny Online is the best MMO RPG on Android. Android and iOS, but it has an auto combat. Jade Dynasty 2 Jade Dynasty 2, another high graphic MMO RPG Android games that are made by Chinese games developer that looks so cool in graphic and represent a lot of cutscenes to let the player know the storyline. I've played for about 20 minutes, but the cutscenes show up for more than 10 minutes. Surely, the developer know how to deliver the story, but you cannot underestimate the combat battle. I would rate 10 to 10 for the skills showcase. We can move the hero while attacking, making the gameplay even smoother. There are 6 skill slots we can place and change based on the power and area of effect range you would like to adjust. This is the first beta, but the quality is more than I expected. It seems fully ready releasing the game globally. Unfortunately, the game's language is not in English at all, so I think it will release in a certain region first. Male and female are optional. As usual, Chinese games are always giving a complete character creation. Jet Dynasty 2 is the best new MMORPG game mobile. Naruto Sipuden. Naruto Sipuden. Surprisingly, this game was released globally. I didn't find any early access word anymore. It doesn't mean we are safe on doing any top up. I'm not sure about it. In fact, the developer behind this game only have Naruto Sipuden as their first game. I hope it will not disappear like before. As a player, we should know and understand how the game works and what the developer goal. So, the main gameplay of Naruto Sipuden is a new brand MMO RPG that has a very good character design. Even the NPC has the actual character's voiceover as the enemy. We can do a double jump and fly at a shorter altitude which is good to move and explore the area to reach a higher spot. In combat, it has no auto combat. Once we tap the main quest, then we should do any single attack and scale manually. There are three characters' roles we can select. They are Naruto, Sasuke, and also Sakura. Honestly, even I can't see how many of the players are active on the screen, but they all seem like a bot. No one is using the chatting features. This is the best new anime game for mobile. Devil Hunter Rider Devil Hunter Rider. I don't know exactly who's the player who loves playing a game that released the server so fast. Within less than 2 months, it already has 200 plus server. This number is way too crazy that makes the previous server become so quiet. Look at how many players are on the screen while I replay it on the server 46, while the new server reached number 200. As a player, I will not ask you to play the game by using any single penny because it will be so useless. You will become the best player in an empty server. As a player, I highly recommend you all to avoid this kind of game, so you will get the best game's experience on the other fair MMORPG out there. This is a great example to describe which game is good for a free-to-play player or no pay-to-win MMORPG or the game that pulls the VIP system. Anyway, would you like to play Devil Hunter Rider as your daily game? But honestly, I like to see the graphic, probably one of the best graphic MMORPGs on mobile for mid-range points devices. For Second World 2 for Second World 2, one of the most popular franchise MMORPGs on PC finally come to mobile with the newest sequel. It's still developing right now, lucky have a chance on playing the first beta. Unfortunately, the game needs a lot of improvement, especially about the rendering graphic. It's taking so long every time we move into a different area. Let me ask you, are you willing to play a game that has a fast leveling? In less than 30 minutes, you will reach a higher level, even if the hero keeps going automatically on the clear the every mission eventually. 
This MMORPG has a combat power base, so every single improvement will determine how strong your hero is by seeing the combat power number as the main indicator. Switching the equipment and raising up the skill power in some way to improve your CP significantly. In combat, we don't have to worry about applying tactically because every skill will not consume any energy. It's only need to wait for the cooldown times to be finished. Once it's ready, we can unleash it a multiple times. Each of the skill will have a variety of the estimated cooldown times. This is the best MMORPG game with a simple gameplay that is full of auto. Blade M Blade M, this new MMORPG only needs 1.45 GB. This size is truly way too small for a game with this graphic. Anyway, we have seen Blade 2 Mobile with an action game, but now the developer tried to make the MMORPG version, but actually it has a different concept with the previous Blade series. Where the previous one has a western character design but in the sequel, it has an oriental design. This MMORPG has a flashy color of the equipment aura like the weapon and also the armor. When we reach a higher level equipment, then the aura will show up as the indicator of our power. The first impression you play of it, you will realize how the VIP icon show up on your main character. Clearly, we know that what it means. We can speed up the progress and increase the combat power significantly by using the VIP features. In this case, I will skip the game like this and prefer to play MMORPGs with more fair gameplay as a free-to-play player. But the graphics are surely the best game on Android and iOS. Hoyon. Hoyeon, this is the most interesting visual in the MMORPG era. It has its own unique art style. Unfortunately, the game mechanism has an auto at all, but that's all just for basic things. Once you try to unleash the support skill allies, then we should tap the avatar icon skill manually. So, I would say it has a semi-auto game. I didn't find any character crescent. Job classes, we directly get into the game once the prologue finishes. I think the main goal is to increase your power. We should collect a high grade of allies to support us by collecting them as our supported allies. These all allies will be really useful to help us in killing the enemy. Love to see how clear the environment is with an island that is surrounded with the sea. Unfortunately, we cannot swim. Of course, the developers should add the swimming action to the player so we can enjoy the beautiful crystal clear of the water. Hoyon is the best MMORPG high graphic game Android and iOS. Infinity Land Bonus, Infinity Land. If you wonder if the game's title is The Legend of Neverland, then you are totally wrong. A new game's publisher changed the game's name, but the whole gameplay is 100% the same. It has nothing different at all, but surely we can play the game soon starting from the beginning of the new server. The game's combat mechanism is pretty similar, it's totally nothing different. So we cannot wait for new content on it, the gameplay of Infinity Land is, it seems like Genshin Impact clone. But the difference is, we'll play in multiplayer with a huge number of players who can come in one server. The weapon of the main hero will be determined based on the job classes you are picking on. Since this game started, we have decided on our role play. These all are the best graphic MMORPG games for mobile. I really hope you all help us by tapping the like button. It's really simple. Just tap the like button and leave a comment. Please help us to reach 200 likes. See you on the next video. Thanks.